Let's divide 6 by 4. And one way to think about this, we could just consider this a fraction. It's 6 divided by 4. 6 over 4, and that's 6 fourths. You could reduce this, since both of these numbers are even. Divide 6 by 2, you get 3. 4 by 2, you get 2. And if you wanted this to be a number with a decimal, you could divide 6 by 4, or 3 by 2, you'll get the same answer, 1.5. We could also divide this longhand. We could say 6, and we want to see how many times 4 goes into 6. 4 goes in there once. 1 times 4, that's 4. We subtract, and we get 2. So if we put a decimal point up here, we could call this 20. Then 5 times 4, that's 20. Subtract, remainder is 0. And we got what we had before. 6 divided by 4, that's 1.5 we had up here. So when you divide 6 by 4, you could consider it a fraction, 6 fourths or 3 halves, and then you could divide to get a decimal. Do note that this is an improper fraction. Both of these are improper fractions, and they are equal to the mixed number 1 and 1 half. Same thing as 1.5. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.